Here we are in Sarnia, Ontario, where BioAmber is building a commercial plant for the world, $125 million investment in Ontario, with discoveries made in Canada, discoveries in Europe, a pilot plant in Europe, and literally over 100 patents, but it's being implemented in Canada by Canadians who were some of the original discoverers. And they make succinic acid through fermentation, just like we could make ethanol, only we make a different product that is a building block for bioplastics, de-icers, and a whole range of chemistry, some of which can be used right here in Chemical Valley of Sarnia. I'm telling you that we're very excited about this project. We're very excited about the prospects. And we're going to be building more plants. And uh, Sarnia is very well positioned for the future as well. It's very unusual. And we've looked around the whole world. We've gone to Brazil. We've gone to Thailand. We've gone to Malaysia. We've gone to Europe. We've looked at different places in North America. And I can tell you that what's going on right now in Canada is unique in the world. It means we have institutions in place that work autonomously, but in a coordinated fashion. They assess projects. They see projects that have real potential. And they commit to helping them in constructive ways that are good for all the different players in the value chain. And it starts with agriculture, but it goes all the way through to exports and everything in between. This is really a, a unique situation where you can combine things that are good for farmers, good for communities like Sarnia, good for the country in terms of manufacturing jobs and exports, and also good for the environment. BioAmber will be using the sugars derived from processed corn in a process that replaces petroleum-based chemicals. They will seek to use this innovative process to produce an acid, a key ingredient in the making of paints and resins, de-icers, which are very important for the safety around this plant, plastics, mechanical lubricants, personal care products, and fabrics like spandex and polyester. This bioproduct derived from corn will not only help protect the environment, but will also help Ontario corn farmers boost their income by providing another market for their crop. This project is a great example of how innovation is reshaping the landscape of today's agricultural sector. Where we're at BioEmber's site, we're in the middle of construction. Behind me you can hear a lot of the pile drives being brought down right behind us that have been going on for the last uh, six weeks and are just about complete. We've been having our footings put in and this is really going to be the site of the world's uh, largest bio-based succinic acid plant. We currently one, run one out of France and this is really a, a plant that's going to produce 15 times the amount of succinic acid or bio-based succinic acid that we currently produce. Um, this will be a low-cost production facility and really allows us to compete very, very effectively with the petroleum route and actually be uh, below the cost of petroleum. Luckily, well, it's about an 80,000 square foot facility that we're building here. We're going to have offices and lab right up here front. The big fermenters are being put on here and that's why you see these big uh, pile drives. It's, it's uh, the amount of the weight and the equipment. Further on is the process building and then the warehousing will be in the back of it. We'll be able to expand from the back side and, and further back there. It's not only a matter of uh, the uh, low interest loans that governments provide, it is also the credibility that a relationship, a good relationship, a partnership with uh, the senior and, and the provincial and federal levels of government provides to our company as we sell abroad, as we introduce our plant and our technology to the rest of the world. For Ontario agriculture, it means a new beginning, a new start, a new market. Uh, BioAmber's presence in Sarnia is being seen the world over as uh, uh, why did they choose to land in Ontario and we want to answer the question because the feedstock is here, the quality is here, and the people are here to help make your project happen. So at the end of the day, BioAmber is another market for three million uh, bushels of corn and we're going to be able to fill that market. See the bio route to succinic acid and see how it's a much simpler process than going the hydrocarbon route to succinic acid. This is one of the reasons why succinic acid never really had, uh, had high volumes uh, when it came from a petrochemical route. The costs were just too high to produce it effectively that way and compete uh, with other materials. Bioamber and the bio route has certainly simplified that process and significantly reduced the cost of it. Green chemistry is at the very early stage. This is like the internet in the late 90s. In 15 years from now, we're not going to believe how much of our agriculture, biomass, waste, corn, and other are being transformed into value-added products and ending up in everything from 
tires, to automobiles, to the plastic cups we use, to the cosmetics, everything. So we're very excited to be on the leading edge, but this is just the beginning. And there will be clusters, and I think Canada is very well positioned to be leading the world in creating those clusters. So. Mm -hmm.